it's basically you get together either by yourself or with a group of a couple of people and you make a game together uh, in a short amount of time. It's like a hackathon meets a music jam where you just sort of get together and you get a theme and you just make a game from start to finish. You, you can make a game that's actually fun in just a short, short amount of time, like in just a day or two days. They are like the best like crucible of creativity that I've ever seen. starts is you try and think of what you can do with the theme what you can do with the theme in terms of mechanics in terms of narrative what can what can you make with this and um, the process I go through is I try and come up with a number of ideas and then dispose of the first three like immediately without even thinking about them because the first three ideas you can come up with are the ideas everybody can come up with and they're not interesting so I try and find something that I can be relatively sure of is unique or interesting or different I do that by forcing myself to be really picky about what I pick what I start working on but I also don't let myself spend too much time in that stage because a game jam is about creation it's about daring to allow yourself to make mistakes it's not about planning out the best game ever it's you it's like a music jam you grab your guitar and you just start playing some tunes and it doesn't really matter where you go or whether it's perfect it just matters that you're playing something a game jam is very similar it doesn't matter whether it's good or not all that matters is that you went through the process of creating something a game jam is a um, it's an event that game developers do it's basically an exercise to keep your creativity sharp or to create something that you otherwise wouldn't the basic idea is that you set yourself a limited amount of time and a specific theme and then try and create something within those boundaries it very much stems from the belief that creativity is helped by constraint that it is something that flourishes under constraints so we oppose on ourselves limitations and then try and create something sometimes game jams can be competitions sometimes they're collaborative um, sometimes they have judges, sometimes they don't. Um, jams, as we call them, manifest themselves in many different ways. Um, but their goal is always to foster creativity. tell people who want to get into game development to go to jams. Even like, even if you've never made a game before and you think you're not going to be able to finish a game jam or you feel like you're inexperienced, a jam is such a good way to learn how to make a game because you're being forced to, in one weekend, you know, come up with an idea, prototype, make it, polish it, and essentially release it. Um, all within this like little 48 hour span and it's just it's so educational to just go through that process and see what goes into making a game and even if you don't contribute as much as you would hope that you would because you're inexperienced or whatever like you get to see other people making it you get to go through that and you get to see how the whole process goes which I think is really 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 important and plus you end up meeting a bunch of other developers and you get to network and you get to talk to other people who are passionate about making games and doing a bunch of things like that so I would say definitely if you are a new developer go to a game jam as soon as you can. I think the biggest thing that you get out of game jams is that, you know, one, you end up working with people you've never worked with before. Um, even if you're at a jam at your sort of local community, there's always people who you've never worked with before who come in and it's fun to sort of push yourself to work with other people. Um, it's sort of a, 
It's weird because it's a low pressure and high pressure environment all at the same time because it's low pressure because you're not actually expected to create something wonderful. You know, you're just sort of expected to create something. It's also high pressure because you're trying to do it in 48 hours. Yeah. Um, so there's, it's just sort of like a really wonderful way to push yourself to, to make something with little consequence if you don't really accomplish anything. It's sort of a break from the monotony of whatever project you're working on. It's just a way for you to try something new and experimental um, and in a way that you wouldn't think of, you know, because a lot of jams have themes and those themes sort of push you to think about a different idea that you wouldn't have come in with otherwise. Um, so it's just sort of a nice creative outlet to try and do something quickly and new. When we first started doing uh, game jams at Double Fine, like we had kind of been working a lot, and it's uh, it was on Brutal Legend, and we had built this engine from scratch, and we had you know we'd been working on it for three years, and we're all really excited about the game, but it was hard to stay motivated for that long, and Tim decided to he asked us to take a break for two weeks, and just completely forget that amnesia what we had been working on and and make a game that's um, you know b based on some pitched ideas that the team had to see just like what the what the game engine could do and when he pitched this idea to us our reaction was like oh god two weeks worth of crunch you know this is going to be terrible um, and now like we had been working so hard on Brutal Legend and we're losing this time or you know we have milestones coming up but we did this anyway and what it actually did was somehow it reinvigorated our interest in Brutal Legend, in the work that we had been doing before. All of these problems we had been agonizing over for, you know, maybe a month or so, um, some problems that we just could not figure out how to fix, all of a sudden seemed like nothing, like we could just, you know, handle, n handle whatever it was. And I think that was because of the game jam that we had just been through. Like, when you have such a short amount of time, you're forced to make decisions very quickly and there you have to trust your gut because you really have no time to vacillate at all. Uh, you get to solve a lot more problems than you you might be used to like during your regular work. Uh, you get to work on types, you get to do types of work that you normally don't like you know um, come across. Like for instance we didn't have an audio person for the project that I was on on the first Amnesia Fortnite and so I actually did a lot of the audio work myself and what that did was it gave me like a kind of a newfound empathy for what it's like to be an audio designer on you know at the company and I just understood what kind of like what their workflow was and kind of what problems they might run into what tools uh, could have been better for them and things like that. Uh, and it was just really fun. Like it was just, you know, I never thought I could do audio, but I got to do it, and it was it was a lot of fun. Um, as for programming, like I ended up doing, I, it was shocking to us at the end of these two weeks what we managed to accomplish. I mean, it was it really felt like we had the like, complete little. I mean, there were small games, but they were like they felt really complete and cohesive. And I think game jams can really surprise surprise you like you might not have realized how much you could do or how how much talent you really had and maybe in one particular thing maybe you find out you're secretly an amazing artist you never know